You can probably only see half of my face. I am sorry. I cannot see myself because the viewfinder is pointing the other way on this iPhone. But I thought I would share another video with you. I'm going to share one of my favorite cookbooks with you. If you're a cookbook person, you might enjoy this. If you're not, then you might just want to stop the video right away because it might be rather boring to you. But anyway, so um, the cookbook I'm going to share with you today isn't one that you can buy anywhere. Um, it's a uh, church cookbook. I had gotten it not too long after James and I were married, so that was almost 26 years ago. And so, um, I learned how to cook a lot through this cookbook. That's why it means a lot to me. And uh, there are a lot of southern recipes in here because we're in the south and there's a lot of casseroles. Uh, we do a lot of casseroles in the south. Um, I don't know if are casseroles common up north? Anyway, um, I thought that I would share this with you, so here it goes. Um, let's see. The, this, the cover is off from this one. There's a possibility that I might get another one later that belonged to someone that recently passed away. And um, because she was a member of this church. And so, um, anyway, maybe I'll get a fresher copy because this one is slap wore out. But this is actually something that I might be making today or tomorrow or so. Cheese straws. Because I have all of the ingredients. And as you'll see, I have things tabbed. This is the way I keep it. And I use this cookbook a lot. I just pull it out and um, refer to it when I'm making certain recipes. Uh, I think everyone knows about sausage balls. But there's there's some sausage a sausage ball recipe. Let's see what else. Oh, chow chow. Chow chow is very common here. I've made it a few times in our marriage and it's like a relish and so I hope to be making some of this this year because we enjoy eating this with our pinto beans especially Brittany my oldest daughter so we make chow chow I make potato soup but really I don't use the recipe so much anymore for that I just pretty much do it. Oh, let's see. Here is a... Oh, I wanted to try this overnight black-eyed pea salad. That looked really good. And so, we'll see about trying that sometime soon. I have not tried that one yet. We are in German country, so we have a lot of German dishes as well. So we have our hot hot potato salad, um, but I make mine cold. I don't do it the German way. Well, sometimes I do just for fun, for a little deviation. Yeah, you can let Sheba out. Okay, and then crab salad. We all like crab salad. Mm, I was surprised to see this one in here because pesto to me is a fairly new dish. But as it turns out, it's been in this cookbook all along. Let's see. Texas hash. I've made that a few times. It's, it's pretty good. You serve it over rice. Usually when I make something like this, it reminds me of goulash with rice. Usually goulash has the um, noodles. Macaroni and beef ponto. There's the goulash. Apparently I didn't put green pepper in it when I've made it in the past. 
you can screenshot this if you have an iPhone or tablet that you do this on. You know how to screenshot. This is the chicken casserole recipe that I plan on making. I believe it's this coming week. And it's really good. Instead of using the whole fryer though, I'm just using chicken breasts. Let's see, chicken stew. No. We make something that's called chicken bog. You make uh, it with uh, chicken deboned with sausage and rice. And it's really good. I thought that's what that was, but it's not. I don't even know if chicken bog is in here. Here's turkey tetrazzini. That's their way of making it. Doing it the easy way with the cream, uh, cream of soups instead of making your own sauce. Liver nips. Now let me tell you, this is something that is a definite regional recipe that we do around here. So if you're ever interested, you can copy that down and it, they are delicious. It's like liver dumplings and gravy. I think I've talked about that before on here. I used to do vegetable casserole quite a bit, but like veg all casserole, but I haven't made that in many years. That was at the beginning of our marriage. I made that. Low country shrimp gumbo. Because we are in South Carolina, so we make a lot of dishes with shrimp. My beloved tuna casserole, of which my husband got entirely tired of in our early marriage because I made it about once a week. Meatloaf recipes, pepper steak, we like pepper steak. Well, I like pepper steak. James doesn't because he's not a big bell pepper fan. Baked beans, you can tell I use this recipe a lot. And I, I tweaked it over the years. But if you want good baked beans, use that. This recipe. I'm, I can't do canned baked beans. Um, broccoli casserole. It's the broccoli casserole recipe I use. Apparently I made this before because I have it marked, but I don't remember it. There's Hop and John. This is the potato casserole I use. When I go buy a casserole, uh, recipe, sometimes I just make it without a recipe. Here's our squash casserole recipe. And the directions. Casseroles are so easy. My beloved sweet potato casserole. And I like it this way with the, we usually use pecans, but I haven't had any this year. So sometimes I make this topping without any nuts. I made some last night and I put uh, slivered almonds in the topping recipe and it was really, really good too. I'd rather have pecans, but anyway. A lot of food splatters on this cookbook. <laughs> Not so much in here. It's mainly the casserole section. I would not use their, well this only has one tablespoon of sugar, but the cornbread I make generally does not have much sugar in it. We've made this before, and that's Brittany's handwriting, so I know that she's made it. Okay. 
okay so we're getting to things I'm not usually in cookbooks you won't find the uh, the sweet section used too much as far as dessert so I'm not a big dessert maker so do you have something oh you won't believe them yeah this is really good you use saltine crackers and I don't, I don't put pecans in it. I mean, sometimes I have, but you can do it without the pecans. And it's inexpensive to make as well because you just really need saltine crackers, brown sugar, margarine, and um, yeah, that's it. Oh, and the chocolate chips. There's a divinity. I have really never made that, but I know some people that do. Banana pudding. We like our banana pudding in the South. Some people would not say this is banana pudding because it's not cooked. Some people like their banana pudding baked. And they don't use instant pudding, but we do. I've never